Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's get right into your reading, Taurus. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month of September 2020. Now in regards to finances and career, you have the World card. Wow, Major Arcana starting off very strong, Taurus. The World card represents coming to a conclusion, an ending, an achievement, something that uh, you've been working very hard and very determined and very focused and putting all your energy and effort into this. And finally, being able to see the rewards or being able to feel accomplished in your endeavors. Uh, the world card can also represent travel for some. Now, in regards to communication, how you're going to be communicating for the month of September, we have the death card. So the death card could represent dealing with a Scorpio. It could also represent um, concluding or coming to a conclusion of communication with someone from your past. Um, now, the reason I say the past is because the death card does represent transformation, but it also speaks about end in itself, a conclusion. With the world card, another conclusion card. Uh, so it's coming to an end or making the decision to bring an end to a situation uh, that has been happening in the past. Now, in regards to your challenge here, you have the Five of Cups. So the Five of Cups could represent um, going through a situation. For some of you guys, there could have been some type of separation or some type of ending of a relationship. Um, for others of you, it could be that there was a situation that called to bring an end or a conclusion to a situation where there was some type of refusal uh, with the five of cups uh, holding on still to that bitterness or holding on still to the the healing I, I feel that for some of you guys the healing ha the healing hasn't happened um, but this can also represent missing or thinking of a person from your past where there was some type of ending uh, for some of you guys, it could have been unexpected endings. Now, in regards to love and romance, you do have the star card here. So what they're telling me here is I feel for some of you guys, you've been holding on to a, a person or an individual from your past uh, that perhaps there was some type of ending where you would have hoped uh, more could have came out from that relationship, but it was halted. It came to a halt. It came to an ending. Um, and it left you feeling a bit alone. It, it left you feeling a bit like you were not expecting that and it kind of threw you off. But you're getting to the point of being able to no longer focus on what was lost, but be guided to be guided to see enlightenment in the possibilities of the future. Um, the star card is all to do with regeneration, but it also speaks about a new pathway, a new way of seeing things, inspiration. And for some of you guys, it could represent love or a new love interest that presents itself to you. Now, in regards to spirit's advice here, yeah, with the two of wands, let go of the past, Taurus. Let go of the past. Stop enslaving yourself from situations and experiences that caused a lot of hurt in the past release that energy and embrace the new beginnings embrace this new pathway embrace this accomplishment that is coming to you where there is a conclusion that is going to lead you to a new beginning almost like the stars being aligned for you to be able to get to the point of feeling extremely blessed because you're holding the world here in this card so this is all to do with, you know, being able to embrace the new beginnings, being able to feel bountiful, feel blessed, be able to focus and put your energy and effort towards the possibilities of what you can make happen in the future. But you got to take that ownership now, Taurus. You need to put your intentions out now. You need to focus and, you know, even become a bit more in connection with your emotions so what i mean by that is i see you guys very guarded and it could be because you've been hurt in the past but with the star card and the two of wands there is a partnership that is lingering about somewhere near you there is a person that is very much into you but you're very guarded you see you're not even facing them 
you're looking away from them and this cape here it's almost like a shield like you're protecting yourself so in order for you to embrace this new beginning you have to be okay with nakedness and i mean nakedness in a nakedness not in itself like go out naked and be naked <laughs> but more to do with you know be raw be sensitive be open allow people to accept you for who you are not what you want them to see you as because i see for some of you guys you're very protective you're very shield you can come off as being dry humor or perhaps sarcastic or perhaps uh mean in spirit but in reality this is your defense mechanism because in reality you're vulnerable you're soft you're a big softy you're very loving you're very trusting and this is the essence that you're trying to protect but in order for you to embrace and bring about new beginnings, you have to be okay with disarming yourself. And see, you have this rune card here that is all to do with seeking direction. This is a blessed journey. This is talking about moving towards your destination, towards your destiny. But you're at crossroads right now and there's a need to make a decision. Are you going to continue shielding yourself and protecting or armoring yourself keeping opportunities at bay or away from you because you're refusing to move forward or are you going to embrace this new beginning this new opportunity this new person that is coming or has came into your life are you going to give yourself that opportunity now is the time to decide, Taurus. All right, my lovelies, I hope this gives you some type of insight, understanding, and um, we'll see each other soon. Bye.